We are live with Brett Hauer on the line, from where police are now confirming a drive-by shooting at a polling station. They're all in a line, shot in the head, just where they stood. The whole line is dead. The line is dead? Looks like some voters had children with them. All spared, not even perked. Brett, local PD are saying a suspicious device may have been discovered. Could this be Slaughterbots? No parts on the ground. I can see I haven't heard any or heard of any airborne devices. I, I see police. I see some officers deploying camouflage masks right now. We're on the move. Police are interested in an abandoned vehicle. They're heavily camouflaged now. Wait, there's, a, there's another vehicle, another vehicle across the street. They seem quite concerned about that. Look, look out! Look out! Yet another national security crisis for this administration. Everybody was dancing and, and then suddenly we heard... Horrible. No, no, no. Killer robots marching down the street? That can't happen. These are professional munitions, and they aren't just going to fall into the hands of bad guys. We're building really robust procedures. whole constellation of products at the trade show this year. This is an industry energized by last year's successes. Devices apparently hunted down and killed soldiers who were regrouping after fleeing the battlefield. Of course, they can't target kids in the street. They are hard-coded to target men in the battle space. That's well, surely you mean men and women. Well, sure can be added to the target profile. Purely a military device for confronting military aggression. Nobody is endorsing a civilian application. The second such autonomous assassination of leading scientists. Big win for regional powers, as they hope to cripple their neighbor's nuclear program. Se cree que el ataque fue llevado a cabo por Slotobots. The design obstacles are dropping like dominoes. We are getting more lethal, more versatile, more affordable, so we can empower more customers. Regime change without the billion dollars spent or the body bags. A real lift to the smallest armies. Legitimate armies, though? Well, sure, but who are we to decide who they are? All right, now we're going to cross the UN, where we're told the treaty has now been signed. Generations before us thought that future wars would be fought with toxic chemicals and infectious germs. They thought our landscapes would be littered with unexploded landmines. And more recently, it seemed inevitable we were on a course to mass produce a new class of merciless autonomous weapons, which use algorithms to decide who to kill. We knew the dangers, but we thought we had no choice. Because we thought our enemies were too inhuman to respect innocent lives. We thought if we didn't, they would. But each time we feared the worst, we were wrong. Together, our nations have ratified a new, legally binding treaty. Together, we prohibit weapons which select human targets and attack without human control. Humanity must prevail on the battlefield, and from today, it will. <laughs>